hidden in plain sight. That was the Cold War mantra for a handful of people who built and maintained for years a secret nuclear bunker nestled deep inside a mountain at the Greenbrier Resort in southern West Virginia. A 25-ton steel door swings shut. In the event of a nuclear attack on Washington, D.C., some 400 kilometers away, members of Congress would be locked safely inside with enough generator power, food, water and beds to last weeks. It's a story Greenbrier historian Bob Conti has been telling a long time. This really captures a moment in time, a moment uh, that was filled with a lot of fear. It really goes back to the mid-50s when, you know, at the flip of a coin, it seemed like the Soviet Union and the United States would be, would be sending bombers at each other. While school children practiced duck and cover, then President Dwight Eisenhower cut a deal to build the bunker nicknamed Project Greek Island beneath one of the most plush resorts in the nation. Congressional members and limited staff would find themselves racing down this hall in the event of a nuclear assault. You have a sense that we're in a big concrete uh, uh, box here and um, we're not getting out. I mean, I, I think that, that tunnel more than anything else gives that sort of kind of creepy feeling, you know. This is where the decontamination process would begin. Lawmakers would be ushered in. They'd have to remove all their clothes and put them in this chute. From here, lawmakers are then ushered down a very narrow hallway. They're stripped naked and now jets of water are blasting them as the decontamination process continues. Think about it, what the lawmakers are being asked to endure. They're probably disoriented. They've been rushed here from Washington, D.C. because the worst of the worst, a nuclear attack has happened. The next step is out this door. Lawmakers are brought into this small room. They are given fatigues, some ivory soap, vitalis for their hair, and some other toiletry items. And then they are prepared to stay in this bunker for who knows how long. The cots, the mattresses, the hospital, the intensive care unit remain just the same as they did in the early 1960s. The Greenbrier kept prying eyes away by placing high voltage signs on massive doors that served as the entrance to the bunker. I can remember stumbling upon this once back in the, the secret days. Former President Eisenhower's goal was to keep the legislative branch of the U.S. democracy up and running. I think it's pretty clear that the, the Capitol building probably wouldn't be there anymore. Uh, but the point was, we as an institution are here, and I think the goal is to prevent anarchy from breaking out across the country. It remained a closely guarded secret. Only the Speaker of the House of Representatives and the Senate Majority Leader knew about Project Greek Island. That is, until the end of the Cold War. In 1992, the Washington Post revealed the existence of the site. Once the cover was blown, the government decommissioned the bunker and today tourists pay to visit. Every nook and cranny in this bunker is filled with history, but I think I'm most impressed with just the story, the fact that this bunker was maintained in a state of readiness for over 30 years. This remained a secret for more than 30 years, and that leads people at the Greenbrier to wonder, what else is out there? I think 9-11 changed everything. So whatever happened after 9-11, they could have dug a whole bunch more holes in the ground after that. And you know, we don't have a need to know here. You know, the man who ran this for years and years, I remember he said, when you're out of the loop, you're out of the loop. You know, when you don't have a need to know anymore. There is one thing the Greenbrier Bunker still has, its place in history. And no one can take that away. Sean Cadlebs, CCTV, White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia.